Hello friends, this is Roxanne from Chaco Anime Recap and today I'm going to recap the 2023 romance comedy anime called Tomo Chun is a Girl Episode 9 and Episode 10. But before that, it's my humble request to every person who is watching this, please like this video and share it with your friends. Misaki, who used to be a miserable and unfriendly child, admits that he was unsociable and did not have any friends. In one instance, Misaki's mother, Mrs. Misaki, informs him that his cousin Carol has come to visit him, but Misaki initially refuses to meet her. However, when Carol enters the room, Misaki is captivated by her charm and sees her as an angel. In the present day, Misaki becomes a member of the Ikawa Dojo and is welcomed by its master, Goro, as well as Tomo and Jun who are watching closely. At first, Goro sees Misaki as weak, but upon looking into his eyes, he senses an evil presence within him and advises him to be careful. Misaki undergoes two intense training sessions that completely exhaust him, but he persists. Afterwards, Misaki faces Jun in a fight and infuriates him by asking if Tomo would acknowledge him if he wins. In an attempt to prove himself to Tomo, Misaki throws a punch at Jun, but he counters it and immobilizes Misaki with shock. Jun offers Misaki valuable advice, but Misaki, still driven to impress Tomo, throws another punch with all his heart, cutting Jun's cheek. Jun retaliates with a counterpunch that knocks Misaki unconscious. After regaining consciousness, Misaki finds himself lying on Tomo's bed and learns about the events that unfolded while he was unconscious. Tomo curiously asks Misaki about his newfound desire to become stronger, which Misaki admits is driven by his feelings for Carol. Despite his self-doubt, Tomo encourages Misaki to not be so downcast. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to them, Jun overhears their conversation from outside the bedroom. The next day, Misaki walks to school with Carol, who compliments his recent display of masculinity. Misaki confesses his admiration for Tomo, which visibly upsets Carol. Later, Carol approaches Jun in his classroom and expresses her desire to spend time with him, but Jun is disinterested. Carol admits her feelings for him. But as she leaves the classroom, Gunda confronts her about meddling with June Carol rebuffs Gunda's accusation, leaving her at a loss for words. After some time had passed, June and Carol found themselves sitting on a bench in a park, watching people play. June expressed his belief that it was a pointless activity. Carol then revealed that she had been mean to Gunda earlier and had done something to Tomo, causing her to think that her relationship with them was irreparably damaged. Jun downplayed the part about Tomo and allowed Carol to stay with him for longer. Later, Carol visited Jun's room and declared that she was there to torture him. She then kissed Jun's cheek and, in a moment of vulnerability, climbed on top of him and teased him that Tomo wouldn't like him because of his weak nature towards women. Disconcerted, Jun abruptly left and went to Tomo's house, where he hugged her when she answered the door. Jun apologized for his behavior, and Tomo assumed that someone had beaten him up, which Jun inwardly admitted was because he didn't see Tomo as a girl. Both Tomo and Jun were surprised by Carol's sudden appearance, and she left after saying hello and formally apologizing. On the following day, Carol formally apologizes to Gundu for her actions on the rooftop, but Gundu brushes it off. Gundo offers to mediate between Misaki and Carol. In their conversation, Gundo interrogates Misaki about his feelings for Carol, which makes him feel uncomfortable. Nevertheless, Gundo is adamant that Misaki has feelings for Carol and encourages him to be honest. Misaki admits his inferiority complex and his interest in Carol. Gundu then proposes a plan to emotionally distress Carol so that Misaki can comfort and confess his feelings to her. After this, Gundu informs Carol that she has no chance with Misaki since he doesn't see her as a girl, causing Carol to leave school abruptly. Later on, Misaki pays a visit to Carol's house and is immediately headbutted by her mother Ferris upon arrival. After the initial encounter, Ferris allows Misaki to visit Carol in her room, where he finds her sobbing. Carol lashes out at him with her pillow, 
frustrated that Gundu had lied about Misaki's true feelings toward her. Misaki apologizes and admits his love for Carol, which pleases her greatly. In turn, Carol confesses her love for Misaki and explains that it's because of all the kind things he's done for her throughout their lives. Just as they are about to kiss and embrace, Ferris suddenly appears and puts an end to things. In another room, Ferris confides in Misaki, revealing that she always told Carol to smile because it would make her cuter. Ferris also expresses her fear that love can change a person, but Misaki reassures her that Carol has good friends who will help her stay true to herself. The following day at school, Carol shows up wearing a pink rabbit mask, much to the surprise of Tomo and Gundu. She approaches Gundu, takes off her mask, and claims victory before kissing her on the cheek. As their classmates gather outside, Tomo and June are excited for their school's annual marathon. They brag about their rigorous training and June suggests a bet, whoever loses owes the winner a week's worth of juice, which Tomo accepts. Meanwhile, Gundu and Carol chat while Tatuzmi vies for Gundu's attention, only to be ignored. When PE teacher Haneo starts the marathon, he urges Carol and Gundu to run rather than walk. As Tomo and June run on the track, Tomo mentions that she hasn't seen June lately, assuming he's been training for the marathon. They debate on who will win and lose, but their conversation is cut short when Haneo passes them on a scooter. Infuriated, they chase after him. As they approach the girl's turning point, June's excitement wanes, but Tomo doesn't seem to care, as she is more interested in competing with June June has no choice but to agree with her. Further along the tracks, Misaki is jogging alongside some classmates and is pleased with his newfound strength. However, his sense of pride quickly dissipates as Tomo and June sprint past them, having already completed the turning point. As June and Tomo continue to race ahead, Tomo suddenly collapses on the ground due to a high fever, leaving June to come to her aid. After learning that Tomo had been practicing for the marathon late at night, June carries her on his back all the way back to school. Tomo wakes up in the school infirmary with Carol sleeping beside her and Gundu explaining that she has caught a cold. June then appears with Tomo's things, and Gundu suggests that Tomo take advantage of her situation before leaving with Carol. In a private moment, June hands Tomo a bottle of water and they chat briefly. As June announces his mother's pickup time, Tomo surprises him by asking to be carried to her mother's car. Despite feeling pressured, June agrees and carries Tomo to her mom's car. However, their peaceful moment is interrupted when Tomo's father Goro arrives, holding leaks in each hand, and frantically asks June where Tomo is. June points them in the direction they went, and Goro hurries after them. The next day, June visits Tomo in her room, where she has already fully recovered. Tomo thanks June for his help and returns his handheld game console to him. A flashback shows how June had once defeated Tomo in her father's dojo lesson, though she brushes it off. Goro comments that Tomo has a natural talent in sports, but not in martial arts. As June walks down the hallway on his first day of middle school, he expects to see his childhood friend Tomo in a boy's uniform, but she surprises him by appearing in a girl's uniform. Later on, Tomo shares this encounter with Gundu, while June reflects on his relationship with Tomo in his classroom. Suddenly, a student asks June if he is dating Tomo, which shocks him. He attempts to visit Tomo in her classroom, but overhears two female students asking her if she is dating June Tomo denies it, explaining that June doesn't see her as a girl. This statement hurts June's feelings and causes him to ignore Tomo when he sees her talking to male students. As time passes, their friendship deteriorates, and June never apologizes for his behavior. Gundu also begins to distance herself from Tomo, believing that she is too strong for her to hang around. While sitting on a bench, June has an epiphany that he should find a girlfriend to reconnect with Tomo. As he contemplates this idea, Gundu appears and sits beside him. After a conversation with Gundu, June realizes that he needs to reconcile with Tomo. 
Gundu agrees and encourages him to stop feeling sorry for himself. In a sudden move, June asks Gundu to be his girlfriend, and she accepts. On their walk home, they discuss their new relationship and acknowledge that it was born out of convenience rather than genuine affection. Gundu proposes holding hands, which excites June, but he becomes anxious when his palms start to sweat. As they say their goodbyes, Gundu insists that June call her by her first name. Both of them contemplate the nature of their relationship when they are alone. June takes Gundu on a few dates in the following days, but she ends up exhausted by the end of each one. The following day, Tomo notices that Gundu appears tired and approaches her to ask what's wrong. Gundu apologizes and explains that she can no longer continue their friendship. Tomo is taken aback and takes Gundu outside for a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Gundu confesses to feeling inadequate because she cannot participate in sports with Tomo, but Tomo reassures her that their friendship is not based on such things. They reconcile and plan to hang out that afternoon. However, when Gundu intends to break up with June, he ends up breaking up with her instead. Later, June catches up with Tomo at the shoe locker area and asks if they can walk home together. As they walk, June is lost in thought and ignores Tomo when she calls out to him. In response, Tomo punches him in the face. Tomo questions June about why he wanted to talk to her after ignoring her for a year. As he tries to explain, June notices Tomo crying and gets punched in the stomach. He finally admits that he ignored her because people thought they were in a relationship and he didn't want to complicate her life. However, Tomo tells June that it doesn't matter and asks what he wants to do now. June excitedly suggests continuing their relationship as it was before, but Tomo only agrees to be friends. June happily places his hand over her shoulder, and in the present, he realizes how cute she is to him. And this brings the episode to an end. Comment for episode 11, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.